Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. So, our plan with Animal kind of failed. He went down to try and negotiate with the local pirates to return their leader and the second in command um, with to get exchange for um, pirate jump point information. However, they just decided they were going to take him hostage. So, now we have to go and get him back. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to capture this base rescue animal and once we've done that we're going to uh, hopefully be able to find some information in their computers about pirate jump points and we're just we're just going to dump the other two uh, the leader and their second in command off here <clears throat> all right so we're reserving back to turn one we're going to move in so these guys we're not going to we're not going to um, give them any mercy they want to capture one of our members they're going to go down hard So this is a base destruction, so we can count on turrets being involved. Looks like we can see them already. On my way. I don't know if they've got anybody in the base at all yet, but we are definitely going to be moving up. I don't see anybody, I just see turrets. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it looks like it might just be turrets. So we're going to move up. Get to a position where we can just blast these guys. Yeah, four turrets. Standing by. So in the in between episodes, I got a layout for the catapult. I think is probably going to work, so we can get it into the lineup for now. Um, with that exchanger that we picked up last mission, it gives us some good heat sinking. So I decided rather than going a ballistic boat, because the arms don't really give us any advantage because we don't have any actuators in the arms. I decided to go with the laser build instead, using the f utilizing the four laser points in the uh, in the torso. So we're gonna move forward here and take out this turret. Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Yeah, they got gun emplacements, all right, buddy. So yeah, so what what I did is I added uh, a bunch of um, energy weapons. So we've got a PPC Clan ER large, uh, an ER medium laser and my triple plus large laser in there and then in the arms I just put clan machine guns the light machine guns that we have because they were super light and I figured I might as well just drop them in and use, utilize the hard points so we got another long range boat it was designed to, originally we were going to plan on making it a long range missile boat if we got a proper catapult but well a catapult that was the uh, missile catapult <clears throat> okay so slowly moving forward I'm going to reserve my turn here so I want Ground Zero to move forward first. And we're going to take out the closest turret this way. I know we can take it out with this guy for sure. So, 225, we're just going to fire everything. It's a little overkill, but we just want to make sure he's gone. We've had a couple of high percentage misses in the past few missions that have cost us, so we're just going to make sure we don't uh, run into that problem again. So let's make sure we can see both these turrets, we can get everybody on them. And I think what we'll do is we'll get height to fire the farther one. Fire everything. And then we'll move Flatliner next and he'll take the other turret out over here. Okay, because Bane Skater can easily take that one out. So let's sprint this guy in. Do we have range? We do have range. Okay, perfect. With the dead fire ammo, this should be more than enough. Yep, that's a little overkill, but, uh, you know... Need to do it. Excellent. Alright, Bane Skater moving forward. We'll finish up this last turret. And that'll be it for that. So that was easy turret destruction. It is gone. Alright, height. Let's go down here. And secure this base. And let's position ourselves in a place where anyone attacking no shooting, just running. won't be able to see us right away. Need something, Chief? Let's get down here. I think they're coming from down this way. Wait and we gotta sprint in as far as we can go with the Warhammer. Alright. So I remember this map from our very first mission that we played. Okay, what do we got here? 65, 85, 75 and 75 so these guys mean business 
we got to make sure we secure this base. So let's reserve. I'm going to reserve down to turn one. Let's get these guys moving in. We'll pop up and surprise them. Comes the 75 tonner. We do need Orion parts. Hopefully we can get some Orion parts, maybe a Black Knight. Either one would be get, would be nice. But uh, let's start off at Ground Zero since he's got the most armor. And we're probably going to be fired upon by that last guy that hasn't moved yet. So it's all going to be hard to see these guys. Don't know what my chance to hit is going to be on either of these guys. So let's just move in here. Turn sideways. We don't want to present full front on these guys. So what do we got down here? We got a Thunderbolt, which is what I figured. Black Knight. Orion. VA. Is that not the command version? Or is that just the regular version, Orion? Head cockpit. This is the regular Orion. Does he have an XL? I don't think he does. No. Does this Black Knight have an XL? I think he does. Yeah, he does. And a Thunderbolt might have one. With all that gear on him. Nope. He's just got lots of stuff. Alright, well, Thunderbolt's closest. Let's just open up on this guy. Time to say hello. All right, Flatliner, you're going to be next after this guy moves up. What do we got? Battlemaster. Since this is one of those missions where um, it's not sanctioned by anybody, we can take whatever we want out of the loot. So let's move forward. Uh, what do we got chance to hit on this guy? Pretty darn good. Battlemaster is way worse. So let's go after the Thunderbolt. Let's move. And we should definitely be making him unsteady at this point. So we're going to fire with everything. Okay, excellent. Now, Bane Skater. Let's follow that up with a, hopefully maybe a pinpoint shot to the head. It's going to turn our torso again. Roger. So I think I'm going to try an offensive push against this guy. I want to try and get him out of here as fast as I can, but we're going to go after his head. So there goes his torso. Did he, is he going to fall? Now yep, there's the knockdown. So now we got height left. He's definitely going to go after the head. Down to two. Skipper. Let's get you down. Can we get a direct line of sight on that guy? I think we can here. So let's move into here. Copy that, Commander. They are a little slower, so I'm not worried about being down here. Normally I would be a little bit worried about it with the heavy mechs, but we're going to go after the head. Now let's see how but I don't think they're going to try and close. Oh, he's gone. I don't think they're going to try and close in melee. Alright, so now we can go again. So, let's get height out of there. Hmm. We want to move up into the woods or we want to move back? Let's move back here. Get up on here. It makes it really hard for them to get to us. So they do need to shoot at us. Which one's easier to hit here? Black Knight... Black Knight looks like it's the easiest to hit, so we're going to fire at that. We haven't checked out the Battlemaster yet. I wonder if it's the command version. We do have... I think we have a piece of the command version. Am I right? Is this a command? Just a regular. Regular Battlemaster. Alright. Maybe we didn't get any piece, pieces of them on that assault mission that we did. So let's back up a little bit. And we're going to turn sideways. Going to unload in the Battlemaster, or the Black Knight again. Yeah, firing everything. Hopefully trying to get him unstable. Okay, so there's some instability. Or instability, sorry. We're going to back up a little bit. Once again, we're going to fire at him. And I think we're going to do an offensive push again. Going to try for a headshot. We are. We want to get as much gear from these guys as, can, as we can, so... No, that was a CT hit, I think. Is he going to fall? No, he's moving next, though. No, he's not. That's insane. Oh, he moves on turn one, that's why, because of, of the offensive push. Right, forgot all about that. So these guys are just the stock mechs. So yeah, we did CT that guy. What has he got left? 102, so he's going to die hard here. So let's just move ground zero over. 
Oh, we can't get him from there though. Gonna have to probably just stay here. Let's just not move and fire. Firing everything straight out. This should be a kill probably. Oh, maybe not. Definitely be a knockdown. Going down hard. Bye bye. Yeah, he's got a lot of pilot health. There he comes. You should be running! He's got two left in his center, I think. Am I correct or did I miss that? No, he's got 32, I think. Find out in a second here. Battlemaster! I still think the Battlemaster is probably the coolest looking mech there is in the game. Okay, so let's get Flatliner on the Orion fired, so let's get him on the Orion. So let's move uh, Vane Skater first. Actually, we're going to fire and then move. So we're going to fire on him. Just going to fire straight out. Nice. Funny, he's hitting a lot with that Gauss Rifle. Hey, don't you have fire and move? Oh, I'm thinking of height. Darn. That's what I'm thinking of. So let's do that. Gonna fire everything on him. Okay, so now he's unsteady. So let's get him down here. Uh, we want him to. We want to move him back here, I think. And then flatliner. Uh, can we get a direct line of sight on that guy? We can. So let's do this. Gonna unload on the Orion, which should knock his ass down, or maybe kill him, because he's got almost nothing left in the center. Well, we didn't kill him, but we should knock him down. There it is. So I'm liking the load on our lances. In choke points like this, these guys don't stand much of a chance. Wow. That was pathetic. Okay, so Ground Zero is not going to move again. We're going to multi-target. Firing both of these guys. Uh, each one is going to take one of those. And I think the Orion will take... Hmm, do we want the LRMs on the Orion? No, I think we're just going to put it on the uh, Black Knight. Yeah, we wanted to make sure we killed him. And here comes the other one. Yeah, so they're both gone. Battlemaster left. He's taken no damage, but he doesn't stand a chance, really. If he gets a headshot on us, we're in trouble, but... See what happens. Now that I said that out loud, we're probably going to have a problem. Nope, he's just going to entrench. Okay. Not exactly sure why he would do that, but sure. Hmm. Let's just get back up here. Gonna go here. Let's start with height, get some instability on this guy. Oh, I see. He's pretty much hidden behind that hill there. Probably why he couldn't fire. Oh, head hit. Nice. And flatliner. Yeah, because we're in an indirect area here. So we're gonna back up here. And we're gonna do a offensive push. We're gonna try target this guy's head. See if we can get another head hit in here. Come on, man. Just one head hit is all we need. Yep, head hit in there. Nice. So, Van Skater. Can we get a direct shot? We can from back here. How much resolve do we have left? Um, yeah, oh yeah, we got enough for more offensive pushers. Sure, why not? Another headshot. Let's go. Let's take his head off. Wow, low percentage chance to hit, and he hit with the, uh, the Gauss Rifle. That's excellent. Stressing that guy out. Ground zero moving down now. Let's get him down into here. We want the Battlemaster firing on the Warhammer. Just because the Warhammer's got a lot more armor. And we're going to target for the guy's head again. Maybe we get lucky and take his head off. Or maybe we just miss with everything. We get a head hit? No, he's panicking though. Let's see what he does. Here he comes. He's going to melee. And he's done. Yeah. Wow, look at the evasion on him though, eh? Seven chips of evasion. Okay, so he's unstable. We can definitely knock his ass down. 
So, Flatliner. I'm going to move back. I don't want him mailing on him. So we're just going to move back here. We're going to unload with all our missiles. Actually, I'm going to do an offensive push. I'm going to go after his head again. I think he's down to three, did I say? Three out of four? Or three out of five? We're looking for instability, two out of five. Okay, we should be able to knock him down now. So let's get height around to this side. Just going to fire the ATMs. And we're going to do another offensive push. We're going to look for a headshot on him. Okay, he's unsteady. Uh, Vane Skater, we're going to reserve him. Are we going to reserve? Yeah, because that Battlemaster is not going to be going yet. He's going to move last. So we're moving... Um, Ground Zero back. We're going to do an offensive push. We're going to fire on him. We're going to go for headshots. We shouldn't kill him with the PPCs and stuff. There's a torso hit. And we get the knockdown. We got the knockdown. And that's it. Battlemaster's done. Excellent. Good salvage off the Battlemaster. I think we're out of the way of the uh, dropship. I hope we are. I try to always make sure I'm not there. Yeah, we're good. And there's our dropship. Now we can rescue Animal and scan their uh, computers to get the jump pirate jump point information and we can get out of this system. Excellent. Let's go home. So once again, perfectly flawless uh, mission. We pick up about uh, almost six and a half um, or 650,000 sea bills and stuff that we were able to steal from them and sell, which is great. That's going to cover our next financial report. Almost no damage. Good experience for everybody. And now we get to choose what salvage we want. I think maybe we just take a couple of Battlemaster. Well, maybe a Black Knight part. Let's drop that in because I know we've got other Black Knight pieces lying around. I don't know what versions of the Black Knight we have lying around. But um, definitely we can take that. There's a nice medium laser there. We can always find those. Another nice big engine. That's a possibility. Let's just drop that in. But things like Clan Endo Steel or stuff would be nice, but we're not going to be seeing those for a while, I don't think. Not out here. So I think that's going to be it. The Fusion Core and the Black Knight piece, I think, is what we want out of this. Although this is LRM-15 is kind of nice too, but we don't really have a use for it right now. Another AC-10 Ultra. Yeah, so let's go. Th well, we could take the Orion piece too. That's the other thing. We do have Orion pieces. Wouldn't that be nice if we got a Black Knight and an Orion? Let's do this. Let's confirm this and see what happens. Wow. One, two, three, four Battle Knight, uh, Battle Master pieces. Black Knight, Orion pieces that we chose. SRM4. Actually, that's not a bad SRM4. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, so there's the Black Knight back. Uh, just got the Black Knight, didn't get the Orion though. So that's good though. Alright, that's awesome. So now we're definitely going to have to sell some stuff because we definitely need to get that next mech bay up and running. So let's go into the mech bays here real quick. It's going to be a while before we get this Light Lance up and running, so I'm wondering if we just pull these out of the service for now. Hmm. Let's have a look what we got on this thing. We got the fusion car, looks like, once we repair it. Definitely want to repair this guy. Yeah, we got the fusion core. Let's repair it here. So we didn't get much in the way of anything else, but we did get the fusion core uh, full of single heat sinks, 30, minus 36 heat. So that's a really good win there. Yeah, man, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So this guy's got eight laser points. So that's pretty good overall. Has it got any special information about it? No, it's just a regular standard Black Knight. Okay, that's fine. 10 days, 231,000. We're going to have to confirm this. So we should just have enough. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Yeah, we've got enough for our next financial report. So I have to decide now. We were planning on doing another Pyrale Ants. I know that, but I think probably I'm going to have to wait to do the lighter mechs until after we get the uh, Heavy Lance up and running. So I'm thinking we're going to reorganize things a little bit. We're probably going to go with the Warhammer, 
the um, catapult once it's up and running again, the black knight, and maybe the cataract or cataphract uh, once we get our things up and running, but I haven't decided yet. So let's pull, let's start off by pulling the fire starter and the butcher out of the lineup for now, just to save us some money because they are just sitting here. So we're going to pull them out. Okay, so that's going to save us a little bit of money every month, um, and it'll give us a little bit of equipment to work with. I think we can probably now just put that light engine into the catapult, which is missing uh, one, like an engine, and then the Black Knight can have a light engine for now until we get some better clan gear. So I think we're going to end the episode here. That was pretty good. Um, we're going to have to figure out where the last uh, vestiges of these pirates are, to eliminate them completely now because if they are holding a gr holding a grudge against us they could strike back at some point while we're during like during a mission or something so wherever we find the last little bit of their bases we've got some information from their computers now they should have some uh, maybe only a handful of guys left so we're going to go after them first and eliminate them as a threat and then um, once that's done we can start doing some missions so until that time I'm going to end this episode here hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like and if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe also if you have any suggestions or whatever just drop a comment down below and i'll definitely uh, look into it if you interested in seeing different types of combat or different mech loadouts please feel free to drop a comment and but until next time i'll see you later